The first episode of the new Doctor Who is an episode about space babies, and that's what it's called. Um, pretty simple there. So the Doctor and Ruby go into space on a ship, and they run into a monster, and the Doctor is scared, which he's surprised by because he's usually not scared of creatures. Um... When he realizes eventually near the end of the episode that um, the ship had programmed it and made it out of their um, boogers and made it a literal bogeyman, a boogeyman. And he ends up letting it live because it's technically a living creature, which makes sense, but also kind of weird. Um... It, it was an interesting episode. I feel like it's one that you probably won't remember in a few years. But it's not a bad episode. The second episode has a non-binary villain. And um, they go back in time around the Beatles period. But they are everywhere, basically. Um... So, you know, the Doctor goes to the Beatles, their songs are shit, so, you know, he starts investigating and realizes that in this world, um, music is basically forbidden, and people hate music, and if they play music, they get murdered by the villain, um, pretty interesting episode, but I really don't know what they were going for they had the Beatles be a musical genius or whatever the Beatles weren't very good people so I didn't like that they had a whole episode about the Beatles but you know whatever boom is by far the most tense episode out of the show so far um the doctor accidentally steps on the landmine and um, you know, it's a ticking time bomb, literally, so he has to stay calm so it doesn't go off. He has to stand on one foot for a while until eventually he's able to shift his weight and get his other foot on the ground, but he still has to stand on it. There's an interesting thing where, um, in this universe when people die, they're turned into holograms and their body is turned into, like, a fleshy capsule, which is kind of gross. Um... But nothing new in Doctor Who. Wasn't too surprised about it, though it was weird. Um, there ends up being a really big plot twist that they ended up killing themselves. Not the Doctor and Ruby, but this whole planet. They had been told by ambulances and the system and the rules that they are supposed to fire when they enter on a planet that they haven't um, been on before and declare that they aren't bad that they come in peace and the ambulance protocol immediately started it um deeming it as a threatful planet now so they've been um shooting in the smoke and the fog and all that stuff and killing their own people without even realizing it they declared war on an empty planet really good episode the Doctor was a bit of a dick in the episode, though, um, near the end, where he, he's basically just changed the entire point of this girl's view on her planet, that um, a system she's used to, um, like we're used to phones, is actually bad and is forcing them to kill people to keep them buying. Um... It's not like they knew what they were doing was wrong. But he kind of taunts her. Personally, I didn't really care for 73 yards, but um, it does line up with the finale. It has set up for the finale, so I guess it was fine. Dot and Bubble is one of my favorite episodes. Really good episode. Um... We follow this girl that I think a lot of people were too harsh on originally. And it was like, 
mainly white people that were too harsh on her. Not actually people that, you know, would it, the, the episode would affect. Um, you know, black people is what it's about. It's about racism and how bad it is. And this society deems black people so low that um, they would rather die than, um, you know, travel with a black person. Heinous shit. These people are all terrible people. They're full of themselves. They think they're better than everybody. They're rich. They think fucking 26 is too old. Um, you start on the planet from like 16 to 25, I'm pretty sure. Uh, because no old people allowed or whatever. Um, it's a, it's a very strange planet. But coming with Doctor Who, there's always been people that are different. Um, everyone's gonna have a different reaction to things. She doesn't exactly trust the doctor, and she finds him weird, she's scared shitless, uh, she's used to using the dot to walk. There's all types of things that some people were pissed about with her, and I was like, you know, this is, this is just a normal reaction, this is how most people would be acting. But then, it starts to go to the more racist side, where... You start seeing the microaggressions and you start seeing that this person is a terrible person. And then it becomes even more clear when she lets it slip on purpose to get away. That another guy should be killed before her because he changed his name. Because it, they find out that these creatures have been killing people in alphabetical order and he changed his name. But his name originally would have been before her. And, you know, the doctor still wants to save them. Because these people aren't necessarily evil like he's used to, like, murdering people. And he still tries to save people like that. He tries to save the master back in, um, season three. Even though he's murdered billions of people. Um, being racist is definitely evil, though. Hating someone for their color of their skin is crazy. It's it's just fucking incredibly stupid. It pisses me off any time I see a Confederate flag, and that people are still hanging it and trying to claim its heritage. Nope, it's just a slavery flag. Flag. Um, get over yourself. Um. But yeah, it was a really good episode. The Doctor couldn't save them, and they would rather die than go with him. And every time, um. Um, the doctor would address them. She didn't really talk to him. She didn't like talking to him. And she was off, uh, she was more trusting of Ruby. There's a part where Ruby asked her a question, but then she immediately addresses the doctor. Where, um, Ruby's like, why won't you travel with us? And then she says, because you, sir, are not one of us. It's pretty clear that she's a racist piece of shit. And... I, I don't care that she died. I'm not the doctor. I don't have that loving of a heart. But man, did I really like that episode. Now this one, um, because the doctor's black now, they kind of have to tiptoe away from the fact that racism exists because they travel back in the past. Even though the literal episode before that was about racism. Uh, so... They keep him out of the picture, away from all the rich, white, racist people. And he's just outside with this other guy for most episode. And um, that guy thinks he's a shapeshifter and killing people. Which, I guess, technically, he is a shapeshifter. And he does sometimes kill people. But not in this episode. Um, eventually, Rouge realizes that um, the Doctor isn't lying to him. He's a Time Lord. And... You know, he wants to travel with him now. Um, I thought it was going to be bad. Like, you know, the bounty hunter was going to try and use the TARDIS or something for bad. I thought, you know, he just felt like a guy he couldn't really trust. Then, But then they do this little love angle with him and the doctor, which is really cute. And they released it on Pride Month, which makes me so sad because they end up killing him at the end of the episode. So the doctor once again loses a lover. Technically, he doesn't lose him. Like, he gets trapped somewhere. and You know, there's like 14 million something different possibilities or something that the doctor would have to do. 
He doesn't even attempt it, which is crazy. Um, it's not impossible. He, I'm pretty sure he says it's basically impossible. But he would do ev everything to save people, so I really don't get it. It's not like this person is gone. There's still a chance. We see in season three him try to save this girl that's basically gone. And end up realizing that he can't save her and the frustration with it. But in this, he's just kind of like, well, fucking sucks, I guess. That is one of my main problems with this season of the show. It's not realistic and, gr um, it's not as realistic and grounded as the old Doctor Who. Not that this show is super realistic. It, it's a fucking sci-fi show with people with two hearts traveling and being able to regenerate into different people. Different genders, different races, and living for hundreds of years without even really looking like you age. Um, but, you know, they all they had like more realistic reactions. It was heartbreaking when stuff happened. It was still heartbreaking that Rouge left, but the doctor doesn't really have a good reaction to it. And it's not the fault of the actor, because he fucking worked his ass off in the episode before. And gave off the performance of his life. Um, and he does even better in the part two and part one of episode seven and eight. The two-parter. The only two-parter of this season. Because it's shorter than um, most Doctor Who's. So then the two-parter. Um, we had been seeing this one girl constantly on all the planets that the Doctor was traveling to. But different. It was an old lady every time, but she looked different every time. Like, she was the ambulance. She was a creature on one of the worlds. All kinds of stuff. Turns out, um, Def made her as, like, a slave, basically, um, to travel the world for him. And now, eventually, you know, Sukith just kills billions and billions of people. Um... But, you know, the Doctor ends up winning. It's kind of anticlimactic. But um, I really did like the ending of the last episode. Ruby knows that. Um, she's just got a lot to do now. Um, she doesn't want to leave the Doctor. But the Doctor wants her to leave him. Because of how much um, she means to people. And now she has her mom. And she could find her dead. There's, It's like um, a parallel to what happened with Martha and um, the doctor. The doctor, you could clearly tell he didn't want her to leave, but she knew she needed to leave. And now it's the other way around, where the doctor knows she needs to leave, but Ruby doesn't really want to leave. Um, and they're both um, actually leave to take care of their family. So I think it's pretty much on purpose. So that is the first season of The New Doctor, and he does absolutely amazing. I'm sad to see Ruby go. I'm sure they'll bring her back at some point. But, um, man, I love The Doctor and Ruby. They really grew on me through this season. They are definitely one of my favorite Doctors and one of my favorite companions already. But I just wish the show felt like a little bit more like the old show. You know, I don't know how to explain it better than that. The old show definitely had more hitting points. But this season's still extremely good.